stop a light pulse, extinguish it in one part of space, and then we can revive it in a completely different part of space and send it back on its way. This is weird. This is really weird. The question is, how is this possible? In the newest experiments, we have a laser beam uh, hitting uh, the condensate in the back, and then we send a, a light pulse in, in this direction, uh, hitting the, the condensate from the front, and now we can slow this light pulse down to bicycle speed and we can stop the light pulse, and we can then convert it, uh, create a matter copy of that light pulse that we can then get into free space, isolate it, and start manipulating, and then send that uh, matter copy onto the next uh, condensate, and then read it back out as a light pulse. And then we can uh, measure that read out light pulse uh, just waiting uh, on the other side of the vacuum chamber, and then measure it with a detector right there. Certainly also, one, one could uh, think in terms of possible applications of the system. And here we could naturally think about uh, processing of a coherent optical information, uh, for example, in connection with, uh, with optical communication. Um, because here you really have a way, uh, if you want to send data streams down an optical fiber, and you have a way of, of manipulating these data streams and really do processing, in some sense, computing uh, on this uh, on this optical information before you send it on back on down the uh, another optical fiber, uh, you could do that with classical information. You could also think of doing it with with quantum information.